Hello, my name is Stingy Jack. You might know me as Jack O'Lanthorn. The name sounds Irish, doesn't it? Yeah, well, for good reason. I'm from Ireland, and my folktale has been told by campfires, by young and old for generations. Here's one of my friends to tell you how my name went from Stingy Jack to Jack O'Lanthorn. Have you heard the story of the ghost of Stingy Jack? Jack was a miserly old scoundrel who sold his soul to the devil. The story goes that one night, Jack spent all his money getting drunk in a bar and said he'd sell his soul for one more drink. But when the devil appeared and turned himself into a coin to pay the bartender, tricky old Jack snatched the coin and put it in his pocket next to a silver cross so the devil couldn't escape. Then Jack made the devil promise to wait ten years before he took his soul. So Jack just went right on being stingy and getting drunk for ten more years. And when the devil finally came back to claim Jack's soul, Jack tricked him again. When the devil climbed into a tree to fetch an apple, Jack placed crosses all around the trunk so the devil could not get down again. Jack made the devil promise never to take his soul, and then Jack let the devil come down from the tree. I hate being stuck in trees! So, when Stingy Jack finally died, he got to the pearly gates, but heaven would not let him in. So he went down to hell, but the devil had made a promise and wouldn't let him in either. The devil gave Jack a burning coal from the fires of hell and sent him back to earth. Jack placed the hellfire ember inside a carved out turnip, and now he is doomed to wander the earth endlessly with his turnip lantern. And sometimes you might see an eerie light floating out in the forest or out over the marshes, and that is the ghost of Stingy Jack. And if you follow him, you will also be doomed to wander the cold night forever. Thank you, my dear. So now here's a question for you. Look at these kids, what are they doing? Out of the hundreds, thousands of folk tales that were told in Ireland, why did my story inspire traditions and tales uh, in the 1700s that have lasted to be a symbol of domestic bliss in your modern age? Could it be there was something resonant way down deep in our Celtic bones? different atmosphere on this doorstep, eh? This arch with its nooks and crannies for skulls is the most intact example found in of many such structures in the ancient Celtic territory. The warriors had a great prize when they had the head of an enemy. Here are drawings of heads found in the Celtic territory, carefully preserved using clay as sculpting material over the skulls. Those Celts believed that the soul dwelled in the head and the oracular head was a medium for communication with the other world. Some witches today use me, Jack o' Lantern, as a portal for their ancestors to come through at this festival of Samhain or Halloween. So when you're having your moment of domestic bliss, remember me, Stingy Jack and my ancestors.